Agriculture says all the ground beef samples it tested for bird flu came back negative for the virus. So the USDA took 30 samples of ground beef from retail outlets in the nine states with dairy cattle herds that tested positive for bird flu. Officials say these results reaffirm the nation's meat supply is indeed safe. Now, those confirmed cases of bird flu and cattle are fueling concerns about the impact on the nation's milk supply. Some are worried this outbreak could lead to lower supply, which could force prices to go up. But experts say, though, that's not likely to happen. We're not seeing any concerns about shortages. We're not seeing any concerns about problems on, on, on prices in terms of supply demand. Food and Drug Administration says their testing shows the commercial milk supply is safe, but the virus can still be dangerous to animals. To help contain the spread and identify further cases, the USDA says it will require a negative test for influenza A for any cows traveling over state lines. This outbreak has many people wondering exactly how bird flu is spread and how easy or difficult it is for people to get the virus from infected animals. In the past, it has caused serious and sometimes deadly infections in people and has long been on the World Health Organization's list of viruses with the potential, potential to start a pandemic. This current outbreak has led to the first known case of transmission between a cow and a human when a Texas farm worker caught it. Previously, the virus had mostly been passed to humans through close contact with wild birds or infected poultry. WHO says while human infections are rare, they can be deadly. Between 2003 and 2024, there were 889 H1N1 infections. A little more than half of those were deadly. Human infections generally happen through direct contact with a person's eyes, nose, or mouth, or when the virus is inhaled as droplets as small as aerosol particles. Most human bird flu infections happen after close, prolonged, and unprotected contact with infected birds. Severe infections can lead to pneumonia and acute respiratory distress syndrome. Now, no human infections have ever been reported from eating poultry that was cooked correctly. It's important to note there is no evidence of human-to-human -human transmission. Scientists suspect the virus can spread between cattle during the milking process. And the FDA says one out of five milk samples from a nationwide survey contained particles of the H1N1 virus. But officials say there is no reason to believe the virus found in milk poses a threat to humans because the pasteurization process kills the virus.